Hey Internet, I'm Steve. Welcome to Raffo. This is a special edition of Raffo today. We are going to be unboxing the recent Brotherwise Games release of the Stormlight Archive Call to Adventure. Let's get started. This is not the deluxe edition of the Call to Adventure game. This is just the normal edition, which is available on their website for like 40 bucks. You can see on the back here, there's really great card art. I've been really impressed with the amount of work that Brotherwise Games went through to make sure that all of the art for the cards is basically as canonical as they could get. I know they were working directly with the Dragonsteel team to make sure that they got it as accurate as they possibly could, except for a few things that they just wanted to make look cooler. But here we go. Let's, let's pop this open. Ah, that new game smell. All right, so what do we got in here? We've got a rule manual, a little explanatory thing for some game elements that people might not know about. The experience tokens, I believe these are. And then these are, look like the play mats. Oh, that's really awesome. Look, all of these are actually different. So you get uh, these play mats, but the spheres everywhere, they're different. Each play mat is different. That is quality. I love that. That's fantastic. You know a game's high quality when it's got fancy little tokens all over the place. Just initially, the card art here, it's just gorgeous. I mean, seeing these things... Uh, oh, by the way, we're probably going to have massive spoilers for uh, everything. Because I'm going to talk about stuff. Ha! Yeah, this is, this is stunning. Uh, immediately looking at this page, we see that there is going to be art from not just Way of Kings, but also, like, this is an event that happens in Oathbringer. So this is going to be really fun. Okay, let's open up these cards. Again, immediately impressed with the quality of art. Oh, man, look at that! Look who that is! That's thrilling. Ha ha ha! That's so fun. Ah, these are gorgeous. We've got Navani, Kaladin, Azure. It's worth it to buy this game just to get the cards and put the cards up on your wall because all of this art is incredible. Chasm Duty. <laughs> ooh! Ooh! Act of Wrath. Oh man. Say the words. Honor Blade. Nice. Zeth, Sun Sun Volano, Truthless of Shinovar, who wore white on the day who was to play Call to Adventure, the Stormlight Archive. Ugh. This, this moment in the book is just amazing. Embrace the thrill. Ooh. Ooh. Void light. Oh, man. So, yeah, they're going right up to the end of Oathbringer. This is awesome. Oh. Oh, that hurts my heart. Act of mercy. Man, so good. This art is so good, you guys. Ah, oh, this is stunning. Yeah, the Lopen. There we are. Broken Oath. Amazing thing about this card, Brotherwise Games worked with Team Dragonsteel, worked with Isaac to make sure that all of these shard blades were accurate. So this picture is exactly what the honor blades of the Ten Heralds look like, or nine at this point. A Man's Worth. Unmade Influence. Ooh. Everstorm. So there is the first deck. These have a Celtic little Triskelion here. Then we have one of the larger decks. Red back. Oh, hashtag FMOash. <laughs> so obviously they're packaged really well. Ooh, raise, lift. Oh, yep. From the end of Oathbringer. Oh, freak. What's her name? Uh, uh, our, our Dustbringer friend that we've met like once. Spoilers, there's a Renarin. Okay, this is just, this is just good. Um, this is Zeth, Sun Sun Volano, Truthless of Shinovar. But he's doing the exact same pose as in the official art of Zeth, Sun Sun Volano, Truthless of Shinovar. Which, as far as I know, makes this like doubly canon, as that Zeth face palms. Ooh, in Shadesmar, that's cool. The three versions of Shalon. There's Lift again. She's awesome. Nice. Bridge four. Eshenai. Ooh. Dalinar versus a Thunderclass, it looks like. Oh, yep. Teach a lesson. Is that the name of the chapter? I think that's the name of the chapter, or at least it's like something like that. Canon. Will Shaper. That is Venli. Official. 
I mean, we sort of knew that anyway, but ooh, there's Sadius. The awesome thing is we've got at the bottom of all of the cards, it's got the, the artist. These are comparable to, I would say, artistically magic cards. This is this is fantastic. Driven by guilt. Yep, there's Kaladin. Destroy evil. Oh, that's so good. Risha Fear. I've seen this and it's gorgeous. In fact, I think I'm recognizing a few of these artists. I think there are some, some of the artists who have done work on this also have done work for magic. See disturbing visions. Oh, that's interesting. A little bit of Elokar there. That's fun. Lift. Ooh, serve the fused. Yep, we know what that's about. If you haven't read at least up until Oathbringer, there's definitely spoilers in the card art. You won't know what it is, but uh, I mean, even, even some of these, like this one, serve the fused, and the art says slay a herald. So you assume it's going to be talking about slaying a herald. This, oh, this is awesome. There's Honor's Perpendicularity. Town. Ooh, cool piece for Teravangian with the diagram. That's really fun. It's a great way to do the diagram. Deceive an ally or keep your vow. Interesting. There's Yasna. Bond with Yelignar. <laughs> Resist Odium. Cool. Skybreaker. Bondsmith. So we're getting to some of the orders. Endure Temptation and take the next step. Uh, Teft. Redemption Seeker. That's cool art. I love that. We've got Evie, Dalinar consumed by the thrill, and then Dalinar accepting his pain, basically. All, all with the background of the rift. Battle the Fused. See the future. The, the stained glass with Renarin. That's lovely. Odium's Champion. Nine Shadows. Else Caller, again, so another uh, of the orders. Find a Lost City. There's a Ritharu. Haunted Past. I love this. I've seen this art before. It's just fantastic. There's Pattern hidden in the blood here. Fallen from Grace. Again, there's Vire, one of the best versions I've seen of the Oathgate in Shadesmar. Survive Grave Wounds or Heal the Injured. We've got Renarin using Regrowth. Another Order, Lightweaver. Again, Pattern hidden. I wonder if they specifically have Pattern hidden in the art wherever Shallan is. <laughs> it's dead through her own hand. Love it. Trained by a Master. Hey, look! There's Vasher. I mean, Radiant, referring to her, because that is Radiant. Survive the Skybreaker. Hey, Nail. Imprison a Herald. Ooh, Talon is jacked. They got, like, Jason Momoa on steroids to pose for this. And Truth Watcher. So all of the orders are represented. And again, this art is just absolutely stunning. And then the last deck, it's got a two on it. I don't know what the two symbolizes, but it's bound to be really cool. So again, another one of the larger decks. The paper on these cards is really nice. It's it's nice and thick. These aren't going to bend very easily, so it should be a, a pretty nice shuffling experience, because I assume we'll be shuffling these. Ardent. I wonder if that's Cub Saul. I don't know. There's Tavlakov. The Reshi. Reshi. Or no, Pure Lake. World Singer. One of the coolest versions of Hoyd that I've ever seen. We've got the Cosmere symbol above his head here, and then symbols for the rest of the worlds in the Cosmere that we've seen. So there's the symbol for Harmony, so Scadriel. We've got an Aeon right there, just the base Aeon Aeon. First of the Sun, that looks like a Spren, but it almost looks like it's someone in a mist cloak. Like, is that a ghostly representation of Vin? Then we've got Frost, the dragon in the background. Yeah, this is just stunning. Take on a Great Shell. Oh, that's Elokar being an idiot. Scholar, there's uh, Renarin with an Ardent. That's cool. Such a good version of the Chasms. It's very representative of Brandon's original inspiration behind the Chasms, which is the Slot Canyons down in southern Utah. That's just beautiful. Cool. We've got the Planium and Carbranth with all of the Seers. That's awesome. Healer. There's Baby Cal. Odium. Adversary. None of these other ones say adversary on it. Oh, right, because there's there's like a one-player version of this. You could play this all by yourself. So you play it against Odium, I guess. Artifabrian. There's Navani. Infiltrate the Vault. Okay, so Chiri Chiri there. There's the, the Fused who is using Void Light to Light Weave, which is cool. And that is Risen. There's Risen. Officer. Green. That's Sadius's color. So is that 
Amaran, pressed into service. There's Baby Cal again with Rashone, the bag of study at the Palladium. This is cool. This is a great view of Carbrandt. I really want to know if you can get a hold of the larger versions of this art. Like rather than being a card size, was this originally like this big so we get a wider view of the entire crack that Carbrandt is in? Oh man, Brotherwise, if there is a way you can do an art book of all of the art that you commissioned for these cards, because it's all in just absolutely stunning. Uh, if, if you could collect that into a thing and sell that, that would be incredible. Because again, all of this art is so freaking good. Messenger, there's Tien. Oof, he's about to have a bad day. The True Desolation, that's a lot of text. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. Leader, I've seen this, Aryabara. Just really, really great art of Kaladin. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, cutting through the spear, and then his eyes are burning. This is a very specific moment. Oh, there's Gaz. Nice. Desert the army. Hmm. I wonder if this is just a general, like, there were deserters. Survive a high storm. You go, Sil. Scribe. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're having not necessarily character-specific events, but some other things that just exist in the Stormlight Archive. Like, there are scribes. These are uh, Azish. Scribes. Contest of Champions, another adversary quest with a lot of text. This is the art of Odium's, uh, cha Od Odium's Challenger? Not Challenger. Ch whatever it is. Odium's Champion. It says it right on the card. Bodyguard. Lead a Plateau Assault. Cool piece of art. Thief. There's, yeah, Lift stealing the biscuits. Inherit Shard Plate. Cool. With the light glowing and everything, that, that almost is Iron Man suit status. Uh, but there, we've got the King's Blade. That's Sunraiser. So is this in a duel? I don't know. Experience the past. Hey, hey! Dalinar's first vision. Pickpocket. There's Lift. Adversary quest again. Honor is dead. Spy. Crush your enemies. <laughs> Slave. So that's Kaladin. He's got a vest, so this can't be his first bridge run. Battle of Bright Lord with the broken off spear. Brave the Unknown. Yeah! Duelist. There's Pretty Pretty Adeline, Adeline, however you say it. Feed the Hungry. Ooh, that is referring to one of the unmade. Betrothed for cute. Spren Bond. Oh, that's lovely. Actually, we've got all of the Spren we know about at this point. Stormfather. Then there's Windle, presumably about here off the card. There's Ivory, Yasna's Spren. Sill, of course. Timber, Venli's Spren. There's Pattern. And I don't know what that is. Earn a Noble's Trust. Farmer. Another roll. That's definitely in Shinovar. Grass isn't running away. Aristocrat. There's Shallan. Squire. <laughs> the Lopen. Stand your ground. So this is the same art what was on one of those adversary quests. Oh, delightful. Young Venli and Eshenai. Dark Eyes. Kaladin's family. Escape Justice. Parshendi. That is presumably the night they were going to kill a king. Yeehaw. Merchant. There's Risen. Child. Ah, uh, there's little Oroden. Wait. Nope. Nope. I lied. That is Dalinar with Adolin? Escape to Freedom. Ah, the tower. Brother. Light Eyes. That's probably actually Rashon and uh, Girlfriend. Shades. Oh, that's a that's an awesome version of Shadesmar. That's really, really cool. Warrior. Student. True Love. So treasure, your wow. True Love. And Night Watcher's Boon. That's cool. So the the art, seriously, if if the only reason you buy this game is because the art is so stunning, it's totally worth buying the game because the art is so stunning. And again, all of these, the, the game elements are just really high quality. Uh, like, these are actually really nice. Tempted to play Moncala or something. Oh, oh, there's even more. Okay. Oh, that's a scary one. It, it looks like you are able to play this just according to the normal Call to Adventure like mechanic, where you just build a character and then experience that character and develop that character. Uh, but also, because this is the Stormlight Archive, you're able to actually fight Odium at the end. And if you defeat Odium, you get you win even more. So, yeah, there's... Oh, Odium's deck. Odium has a specific deck. That's interesting. So, Odium is the... Those scary skull cards. That is one of Odium's deck. Bum bum bum. So again, if you have not yet got a copy of this, check the description down here. Uh, 
down here. I'll just have Brotherwise's Games website right there so you can link yourself straight to it and, and pick up a copy of this because it looks to be really, really cool. I'll be filming my first playthrough of this so you can actually see how the mechanics work and uh, what, what the game itself looks like rather than what it just, you know, like looks like. So if you want to see how, how a typical game may be played, be sure to subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Ha <laughs> ha! In the meantime, check out these other videos because I'm pretty proud of them. They're really great. And I don't yet know exactly how to play this game, so I need to take a moment to read and find out. Let's see. Rules overview. We'll start there.